now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex. This is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight. And we got a little special guest for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the resting corpse of uh, Howard Hughes. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's Will Durst. God, Will, your hair is so long now. Good to see you too. Yeah, but what what's with the hair? I mean, some don't you want to get a haircut or are you trying to get that look at me? I'm a I'm a, I had a stroke look. What do you want? No, I'm going for the aging hippie look. The aging hippie? Oh, that's good. That's good. The gray ponytail, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can teach now over at uh, Cal- UC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like that. Well, how are you doing? I'm still in bed. Oh, How are I, you? I thought by now you'd be tap dancing. I think I have to tap dance on Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah. What happens Tuesday? I have an evaluation. Oh, oh the evaluation. Yeah. Isn't it, you know what I hate about life? It's a series of tests. Okay. You know, it's a series of tests. And, I like tests. Well, I never like tests. I do good in tests. Well, so, okay, so here comes this evaluation, yet another test in your life. And what are they? Yeah. What are they evaluating for? Uh, they're going to see if I uh, show promise. If oh, if you show promise. Yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. And who decides that? The person on the other side of the camera. On the other, they're going to shoot you with a camera. No, no, it's it's actually a Zoom, it's a Zoom evaluation. Oh, really? And and, and they're going to decide whether or not I'm uh, qualified to do this acute rehab pro- program. Well, what happens if you you don't uh, get it? Okay, I, I mean, just stay here and uh, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, we we got to rehabilitate you. We got to get that stuff. I working. agree. We got to get all that stuff working. You know. Yeah, I I need to go to a re-education camp. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Can I ask you a couple of impolite, stroke victim questions? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I had a stroke. Uh, we've done that bit before. Never gets old. By the way, it's nighttime here in New York City. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) That's my green screen. Anyway, um, where where was I? Oh, that is nice. Okay, here's the impolite question. Uh, You're lying in bed. You had a stroke. You're lying in bed. You're there for 19 months, okay? Right? Do you ever get horny? Yeah, some of these Filipino... uh... (laughs) Overlords. Yeah. My Filipino overlords are kind of cute. Yeah. Y- yeah? Really? I mean, so so you still have the urge while you're lying there in bed for 19 months. In other yeah. words, you don't, it doesn't, the 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 stroke um, effect no. has not no. diminished that part of you. So what we're no. determining is, is that a guy can get a, have a stroke, okay, Lose uh, all feeling to his. Oh, there we just lost you there for a second. Uh, uh, yeah, lose, it's like that. It's like that Lenny Bruce uh, routine. Yeah. Uh, so you were in. You were in the ambulance on the way to the <laughs> yeah. hospital. You lost your leg, and you made a play for the nurse. Exactly. Yeah, got hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they say that he said a guy would be like so. Really, the the stroke hasn't diminished desire. No. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. All right. That, that's uh, that's good. That, well, that's good. It's bad too because it's kind of hard to, you know, yeah. do stuff. You know, but yeah, but there's Kleenex everywhere. Oh yeah. 
And lotion? Is it lotion? And lotion. And lotion? Well, you're, then you've got, you've got the kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Um, but you can only do it with one hand. Yeah, my right hand. Is the other? Is he? Is the left hand getting better? The stranger? Yeah. In the stranger. <laughs> is that what you call it? Well, that's what my left hand is. The stranger. I remember when I. You ever like? Uh, okay, we're losing your face. Yeah, give us your face. There we go. Your switch hands? Yeah. Uh, no, no. But uh, I, I, you sleep on your arm. Okay. Okay, and so it, it goes numb, and it goes numb, uh, and uh, then you, you you like jerk off with it, and it's like there's a stranger in bed with you. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, so your wife, uh, the lovely and attractive and talented, and uh, uh, ex in, excruciatingly funny. Debbie. Yes, you're propagating the myth that uh, Debbie is the funny, funny one of the marriage. Well, th that may be a mistake for you to assume because you're both funny. See, I mean that's the point. She just she's funny in a different way. She does. Yeah, different, she makes me laugh. Well, no, but she does a different kind of comedy. You know, well, by the way, the reason the camera's moving around a lot is because number one. Will is holding on to the iPad, and then he's also in bed, and he also had a stroke. Yeah, there we go. See him shaking the camera? That's my happy dance. Is that your happy dance? Yeah. So so where are we? The, the hand's working a little bit, she says. Okay? It's me laughing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but the, 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 uh, the hand is working now, pretty much? Uh, you got it going? Yeah, here's, here's a left-handed wave. Really? What is that on your hand? There's something on your hand. Is that like a brace? No. Show oh, that's a oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Show, show us your face again. That's okay. Enough of the hand. Okay. Show us your face again. There we go. Uh, so he's he's having to, you know, do this all and he, yeah. you know. Yeah. Here's the right hand. Yeah. I talk to a friend, I talk to a friend of mine every now and then who... Uh, in fact, he calls the show every day. His name is Jeff, and he had a stroke. And uh, oh, he, good for him! About, about ten years ago, ten fifteen years ago, and he, he, you know, he has things that still have lasted with him. Like he still has a hard time reading, you know. But uh, everything else is fine. He drives a car, and he's you know he's up and going. So I have all the hope in the world that you can, you know. Yeah, I gotta get permission before I can drive a car. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get out of that bed before you can drive a car. You know? Well, I have to get permission from the DMV too. Yeah, yeah. They uh, suspended my license. Yeah. Uh, did they do that automatically? They suspended your license yeah. when they heard you had a yeah. stroke. When you have a stroke. Isn't that yeah. really nice of the state? Doesn't that make you feel really good? Hey, listen, uh, we just wanted to write you and tell you because you had a stroke, we're taking away your license. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, I got well. That should make that should make non-stroke victims feel good. It makes you make non-stroke victims feel. Good. I'll tell you what happened. My friend Shecky, did I ever introduce you to Shecky? Yeah, yeah, the legendary Shecky. Okay, Shecky, used to work in Letterman. Yeah, Shecky got uh, uh, got uh, uh, kind of like uh, uh, blurry or whatever while he was driving. He pulled over to the side of the road. And he just, you know, he he felt like he was going to pass out, but he, he didn't. And uh, his friends were with him in the car. And so they, they got him to a hospital. And uh, they, uh, they, they called somebody and said, hey, you know, our friend uh, kind of got lost his bearings and so on and so forth. Next thing he knows, it gets a thing from the state. Your license has been suspended. Because you had a problem, you have to go to a doctor and be approved. Do you know how long that process took him? About a year and a half to get his oh, license shit. back. Shit! Don't tell me that. Yeah. In the meantime, he said, "Fuck you! I'm driving." <laughs> he drove anyway, but only yeah, because yeah. he had this one incident of almost passing out or passing out or whatever. But he, first, he pulled over to the side of the road before he passed out. 
And some, so he was a responsible. Yeah, and some snitch in this car called the state or called somebody and said he, he had a he looked like he was having a stroke or something, and uh, uh, they took away his license. Just boom, yanked it. You know. Yeah, well, as a as a non-stroke as a non-stroke driver, yeah. you should be happy. Well, who ratted on you to the state though that they took away your license? Oh no, the hospitals have to. They, oh, they have to report it. What? To, yeah. What? Wait a minute. We better. We have to call this person. We have to do this. We better call. Who do we call first? The wife, or do we call the DMV? You know. So. Yeah, stroke or a heart attack. A uh, stroke or a heart attack. Exactly. Because uh, we have a heart attack, they figure, oh, one heart attack opens the gate for another heart attack. We don't want them to have a heart attack while driving. Well, they should take everybody's license away because everybody is subject to having a heart attack. Yep, I agree. You know, I mean, give me a break. Yeah, that's one of the things I look forward to is driving. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't know if I can drive anymore. Yeah, it, 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 let's see if Trace anymore. I, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know if I can drive anymore. I haven't driven a car in three years. You keep saying that, but you get behind the wheel and you remember what to do. Oh, also, I get very tired lately, and I'm afraid that I'll just doze off while driving. You well, know? there's that. I think there's just this great fear about getting a car and forgetting how to drive. So I'm going to go out to my friend Shecky's, and he's going to let me drive his car around the block just so I see that I remember how to do it, you know. Uh, I better sure. be careful. Somebody might call the cops. Yeah, well, if I suddenly... Call the DMV and say, "Hey, this guy's thinking of driving. He hasn't driven." It. But if I got into a car uh, and drove it, I think I would find that it would all come back very easily. You know, although yeah. although now these cars have all this space equipment in them, you know, uh, all these new devices. It does take a while to figure out what everything works. You know, so how everything works. Tell, tell me this. If, if you've been in a modern car, haven't you? I mean, you've rented one or something like that. You know, you've got the latest state of the art. When you were a kid and you had a car, what did you? What I'll tell you what I liked most is when I got into that car, took the key out, put it in the ignition, and turned the ignition. There was something about that ritual. Am I right? And the radio comes on. Yeah, but the ignition and now. It's a fucking push button. That's for pussies. Oh, I'm going to push a button and it's going to start the engine. Yeah, you still got to put the key in. No, I think now there's facial recognition and a whole bunch of other things. that, that Oh, have. you're right. They have key fobs. Yeah, key fobs and things like that. So or you, you once you get into the car, it says, okay, you know, you can start the car. And you, you push the button and the car starts. You know. I'll tell you what, uh, what I have on my radio. I have AM, FM. Mm -hmm. I have uh, XM Sirius. Yeah. I have... Boo, I hate XM Sirius because I, I, I used to be a big shot. Yeah, go ahead. And I have a hard drive in my radio. So every time I put a CD in, it copies it. Oh. To the hard drive. Ooh. So I have the entire Beatles catalog, the entire Rolling Stones catalog. All, all on this radio. On the hard drive, yeah. The hard, what's What kind of radio is it? Do you know? No. Yeah. Oh, really? I never heard that radios had hard drives so you could record your music on them, you know? But uh, I guess you you can you are allowed to record music off a CD if it's for your own private use and you own the thing you're copying it from. Right. That's at least what they say. What we do is something else altogether, right? That's what some people do. I don't have time. You don't have time. So anyway, so uh, what's your day like? I mean, is it is it exciting? Is it fun filled? I mean, what happens there? You're lying in bed. You got a TV set. Got a TV set. I read a couple of newspapers. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to go through all the Marvel movies. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
uh, do you do you get Disney Plus at all on your TV? Yeah. 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 Did you watch The Mandalorian? I watched season one. I'm saving season two. Yeah. Watch with Debbie. Yeah, it's it's it was good. It was when I really go home. good. It was the best Star Wars ever done since the first one, I think. Yeah. You know, I mean, really, just had all the it touched all the touchstones of what made Star Wars popular. I love that show. And, uh, they, and on uh, Disney Plus, did you watch uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Falcon and the Snowman? Snowman? Is it Snow? No, it's not Snowman, is it? No, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, but I got lost. I don't know who anybody is. Well, that's because it all re refers to the Marvel films. Which I know, but I, I, I saw Civil War, but I saw it like... Uh, yeah. You know, well, in the 1860s. Well, you can watch every every uh, yeah every uh, film of that that storyline. Uh, Marvel on, Cinematic Universe yeah, MCU. Yeah, so you start out with uh, you start out with uh, well, you can start out with what's his name? Uh, uh, Iron Man. Well, you can start out with Iron Man, or you can start out with uh, with. Uh, uh, no, Captain, you start out with Captain America. Captain America. Because that's the beginning, kind of, of the Avengers yeah. loop. Okay, and Iron Man comes into it, and so on and so forth. And you can and follow then, uh, the the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, but you know the trouble is, I went and saw those movies when they were in the theaters, and I don't remember any of them. I mean, they're they're really just nothing but nonstop action, with a few plot points, and so I, I like the individual ones. I liked. Captain America. I thought Captain America was true. I like Captain America. I like Captain Marvel. Uh, kind of, uh, you know. Uh, I like Doctor Strange. I, I really like Doctor Strange. I, I like Thor Gar Ragnarok. Oh, Gar uh, Thor Ragnarok is terrific. It's funny. But it was done by, uh, what's his name, Watanabe or whatever his name is. Uh, the, I don't know. The New Zealander. Yeah, great, great director. But it was very funny. Oh, it's a great film. I tried to get Marjorie to watch it, but she won't watch it with me. And I told her, this is one you will really like because it's funny. You know, it, it tries to be more than an action film. And we both loved Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Love that. One more than two. But then they tried to incorporate them into the Avengers, and I went, come on, leave it alone. Don't, don't ruin, yeah. you know... The raccoon with with, uh, with the Avengers, right? You know. So. You know what I don't like. What? Is when they're all together. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the Avengers. And each one gets twenty seconds. You know. Well, that's the Avengers. And then. And they're all and they're all equal. Do you get HBO Max? Yeah. Do you, did you watch Justice League? I saw it in black and white. It, what? You saw it? Yeah, they got a ver they got a version on uh, HBO Max that's in black and white. Well, not black and white. It's in square ratio. It's in the old square ratio. I don't know. Oh, there's four. It was in black and white. Oh, really? There's four. Yeah. There's four hours of that. Four hours of it. I didn't see the original one, so I don't know what the difference is. Well, I mean, it's just Batman, and it's Superman, and it's Wonder Woman, and it's, uh, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, but that's where they introduced Wonder Woman. Oh, by the way, the, the Wonder Woman movie I liked a lot. Yeah, I did too. I even liked Aquaman. I didn't watch Aquaman yet. I just, somehow Aquaman was one of those comic book it's got characters. got Nicole Kidman in it. Well, but it made no sense to me, you know? As a kid, uh, I never liked Aquaman. What he's underwater, he talks to fishes. You know, I mean, come on, you know, not my favorite. My favorite always was as when I was growing up, even when it was just kind of like a comic book type character. Get get yourself framed a little more. Uh, there, there we go. Uh, was what my favorite? My favorite was Batman. I always liked Batman. Mine was Spider Man. Really? Because he was uh, the nerd in high school. Yeah, I didn't have Spider Man when I was a kid. Because right. when I was a kid, there was, you know, it was the DC Universe and it was like Superman and more the comic book Superman. 
but I, uh, uh, Batman rather. But the reason I like Batman is that Batman was a human being who had to train himself really well to do what he did. So that I as a kid could relate to that because hey, if I work hard enough and enough, uh, uh, I can be I can be Batman, right? Yeah, there's a scene in one of the movies uh, where Spider-Man turns to uh, Batman and says, "What do you do? <laughs> you know, what's your superpower?" He says, "I'm rich." Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that was in uh, that was in that was in one of the Justice League movies, and it wasn't Spider-Man that asked him; it was Fla the Flash that ah, asked him, "What is it Flash. you do?" He says, "I'm incredibly rich or wealthy." Yeah, yeah, I'm rich. Yeah, but. Uh, but he but he was able to do it, and so I kind of related to that. Superman, on the other hand, came from another planet. He had to actually dress down in order to be Clark Kent. All these other people had to dress up to be what they were. He was the only character that had to kind of dress down so nobody would know who he was. So that had a different... But I knew I could never come from another planet. I could never be a Superman. But I could be Batman. A Batman. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like Batman. Uh, but uh, so, have you seen any good movies lately? Uh, I still like uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman. Oh yeah, yes. Except for the third, I went and watched the third one again. It's okay, but it's not great. The first, the second one is great, and the first one's terrific. Batman Begins, the whole origin story. Yeah, yeah. You know, is really good. And you know, if you really like that, and and you're getting uh, you, you get you get Netflix, I would imagine. Okay, uh, go there. They've got all the episodes, all the seasons of Gotham, the Batman. Yeah, yeah. I watched. I prequel. watched Gotham. I watched the first season. Yeah, it's a great show. And, and then I watched uh, a couple couple episodes of the second season, mm -hmm. and then I went all right. It's the same thing. No, but okay. it gets better. Gets much better. It, I, I, I think it was a. By the time it ended up, it was so well done, uh, and the characters were so well developed that I. It was really a great show. I got Marjorie to watch the whole what five seasons, and she. No. She was really? Re she was reluctant in the beginning to watch it, and some girlfriend, yeah, yeah. some girlfriend of hers says it's a great show, so then she then she. Figured she'd watch it. We watched the whole. I watched the whole five seasons again with her. Have you seen Tenet? Yeah, I didn't like that. We were watching it yesterday, and I, I watched it once before. And Marjorie was suddenly watching it, and I said, "You really want to go through this? It's two hours and thirty minutes, and I defy you when it's over with to tell me what the hell happened." Well, I like the idea. I'm just yeah. trying to. The, I, I like Nolan. The I didn't like Inception when I first saw it until I saw it like the second or third time. Well, I this is the second now time. Now it's one of my favorite movies. Second time for me on Tenant, and I still don't see what he was trying to do there, and I don't know if he accomplished it either. They're being attacked by the future. They're being attacked by the future, but... Which is so, a great idea. But then they go and they, everybody's going backwards, and some people are going forwards, and it's like it, it, it becomes somewhat indecipherable, you know? I mean... It's a great idea that probably would have taken maybe a better filmmaker to do it and make it real to the audience. But this thing was all over the place, you know. Um, and, and at the end, I looked at her and I said, okay, tell me what it's about. And she goes, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so. Well, it's, it's like Harry Potter. Yeah. He was searching for the Horcruxes. The nine Horcruxes. Well, you see, I didn't get that far in the Harry Potter films. I, I imagine you did. Oh, that's seven and yeah, that's six and seven. Yeah, uh, yeah. What what happens at the end of the whole Harry Potter series? Uh, he kills. Uh, what's his name? Uh, is uh, yeah, whoever the guys without the face. Yeah. 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 Or without the nose he, or something. He kills know. him by talking him to death. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Sheer boredom killed him? Yeah. He kills, uh, yeah. Hey, listen, I just looked at the time here, and I think we got to bring this to a close. Otherwise, the Oh, we're having fun. I know we're having fun, and we'll do this again. 
Okay. You know, it's so easy to do it, and it's great talking. I'm going to watch Tenet again. Okay, go watch it again. I, I, I've I'm, seen it three times. I, I, <laughs> okay, maybe you're starting to make sense of it, ladies and gentlemen. I am. Stay where I am. Stay where you are after we sign off here, because I, mm. you know, I want to talk to you some more. But uh, anyway, thank you, Will. Will Durst. Oh, the Shaw. Somewhere it's, in, it's, some it's for your fans. <laughs> like, come on for your fans, because you have the smartest fans ever. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. Anyway, I thank you so much, and uh, we'll talk to you really Fish soon. Down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's, that's Will Durst right there. Thanks, Will. Thanks for having me, buddy. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, that's Will Durst, uh, live from his bed. <laughs> Ah uh, boy, oh uh, boy. We just we just hope he gets better. God, we 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 miss him. But uh, we um, we're trying to prevent you from missing him because you can see him right here every couple of weeks, uh, talking with us. And uh, I figure it's kind of a form of therapy that we're forming here. So I'm going to send him a bill because uh, I can use the money. And uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, it is time for us to go to our citizen panel that doesn't seem to be much of a citizen panel forming right now uh gee oh we keep losing somebody we got just one person in our citizen panel this is so it's come to this has it yeah right it's come to this wait a minute hold on a second if if he even uh, gets uh let's see here gallery there we go mm-hmm hi that's it well and it's like I'm right. like i'm doing my phil meyer thing here Hmm. Where's everybody at? Yeah, I don't know. Talk. I don't know. I don't know. Huh, that's weird. It's come to this. It's, it's come to, to this. It's good to see you, Alex. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here comes Trucker Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure others will be coming. Yeah, uh, I doubt it. If if not, we'll sign off early. What the hell? You know. Yeah. Right. Let uh, let Jack go on whenever he wants to go on. So. Anyway, so how you doing, Alan? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm uh, I'm okay. You know. I didn't I didn't see the first half hour of your pre-recorded, uh, whatever. I missed it. Will Durst? Oh, it's very good. Oh, I'll go back and watch it later. I'm sure. So. He's you know. He's, I like him. He was in the Bay Area, and it State of California water rights and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. For years. Yeah. For years. Yep. There's love, Jeffrey. Love him dearly. We keep losing people. We keep losing. Uh, Trucker Steve has some kind of problem signing on from wherever he is. <clears throat> but, you know, he's in the... Uh, oh, here we go. Here comes Trucker Steve again. He's having some kind of problems. I don't know where he is. Where do you think he is? I think he's in Canada. I think he made it to Canada, but that's just my thinking. Uh, you're having trouble getting on tonight, right, Steve? Steve, he's having trouble what? hearing. He, oh, did yes, yeah, Steve, uh, trucker Steve, uh, you having some trouble getting on tonight? Yeah, I'm kind of parked away from the truck stop building, so yeah, yeah it's, I only got one bar. That's it. Oh, okay. <coughs> they, might be in and out. they have a Wi-Fi in the. Uh... Yeah, Fly J Wi-Fi. What's what's it called? And, Flying J Wi-Fi, the truck stop. Uh huh. And well, there we go. And uh, uh, they ran out of parking spots. So I'm kind of parked a little bit away from the building. Yeah, are you having trouble finding gas at all because of the uh, gas shortage? Nope. No. Okay. Well, that's good. How about you guys having trouble finding gas uh, anywhere? No. No, you just got to pay more. You just got to pay more. How much is it? I saw it around uh, three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, you poor thing! It's over four in the Bay Area. <laughs> Is it really? Yes. God, yes. I remember gasoline. Are you ready for this? Hold on to your hold on to your seats. Seven cents mm. a gallon. No. Um, uh, 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 I think, if I remember correctly, the lowest I saw it going. I was a kid. Was about. 
I think it went to nine cents a gallon. That wasn't and this was that was during a gas war. Wow. They would have these wars, you know, and they got cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and this right. one got down to about nine cents. But mm. usually they hovered around 17 cents, 19 cents a gallon. There was a lot of big to da I remember while I was in high school. Yeah. Because the pumps were going to change to have to go to a dollar from 99.9 above that. And so there were all the all the station owners complaining about having to replace the pumps. Wow. And they had another digit. Yeah, right. For the, for the reason of another digit, yes. Yeah. But uh, it, it was, uh, it, it you know, it's got, gotten very expensive. I mean, if you think about when I was a kid, nine cents a gallon, mm -hmm. even c accounting for inflation, it was still much cheaper back then, you know? I mean, what would nine cents a gallon be now? Maybe 50 cents, 75 cents a gallon? You know, I don't know. Charlie's the mathematician. What they would do, what they would do, is they would have these these uh, gas wars, these price mm -hmm. wars, and it, a lot of it had to do with the fact that sometimes there would be a gas station, independent gas station, who had a great corner, okay, and so here would come Chevron, and decide to put them out of business because they wanted the business on that, those, you know, that crossroad, the cross right. streets. So what they would do is they would open a, what was called a Yellow Dog gas station. It was called Yellow Dog. And the Yellow Dog would come in and just sell stuff for like a penny, you know, wow. and, and put the guy out of work, you know, close, huh. his, close his gas station. Um, and uh, that, was, that was what went on back in the day. Uh, and and they they put a lot of people out of business that way. And then what would happen is once the guy couldn't afford it any longer and closed his gas station, his little mom and pop gas station, they would close down the Yellow Dog and put up a Chevron. Yep. You know, or a, or a Richfield. I'm not going to just single out to Chevron. Yeah. Well, around here, Chevron thinks they're the Rolls Royce, and so they charge twenty or thirty cents a gallon more than anybody else in the Ooh. city. Well, do they get business? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do they I get mean, busy? I, you know, in San Francisco, I know you know the entrance to the Bay Bridge, Alex, mm -hmm. and some of the other people, Charlie and, and Jeff may know that area too, but going east towards Oakland, there are four shell stations, no more than two blocks apart from each other. And the one, you know, the one's like four, I haven't been there in a couple months, but the one's like $4, and the next one is four and a quarter, and the next one... And the most expensive one, right next to the on-ramp, is like five and a half dollars, and people are waiting in line to get gas. Well, because they're afraid they're not going to be able to get over the bridge because they're, sure. they're, you know, they're they're pinning the uh, the the gas tank. But yeah. but um, uh, in San Francisco, I remember I lived in the marina, and there was Lombard Street, and that was the street you went down to get to the Golden Gate Bridge. And the closer sure. you got to the Golden Gate Bridge, the higher the prices at the gas stations. Right, right. If you were to just go, I don't know, a couple of blocks either way and find another gas station, uh, you'd be fine. You yeah. know, you'd be able, but But, uh, and I lived in the marina, so the closest gas stations were those gas stations. But then again... They were starting to get expensive. Well, I think when I stopped driving in the Bay Area, it was up to about two twenty a gallon or something like that, you know. But uh, I, you know, I haven't had a car. God, I, you know, for a kid who was raised in California and you're raised with a car on each foot, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I haven't driven a car. I haven't ha owned a car since two thousand. Four, two thousand three, two thousand three. So that's how many years ago? That's almost eighteen years ago, and I haven't owned a car. And you know something? Saved a lot of money. I mean, think about it. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, uh, what 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 keeps costing me money and costing me money and costing me money is uh, the, the payment on the car. Okay, we got that one. Uh, you got the. Um, the um, uh, insurance, and then the gas. And between all of those, I mean, you could send a kid to college. 
you know, and then what's even crazier is if you have a house, you actually built a room for the car to live in. Yeah, you need a garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is bigger, by the way, than the room the baby has. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do we what do we admire more than anything else? The American automobile. Yeah, sure. Now you don't own an automobile, do you, Tony? My brother does. Actually, we. Uh, I don't care I about. I don't care about your goddamn brother. I yeah, asked really, if you. Just answer the question. Technically, no, I don't. Okay. Well, actually, what, what, my dad's car is partly mine now, so I got it. Where's your dad's know. car? It's in the garage. It's a Chevy. So my brother uses it. We use it for the dogs when we take him to the park because it's low to the ground. What? My brother has a big truck. They don't like to jump in the truck because it's high. So we use the my father's old Chevy. It's low. It's a small car. They can go right in. Because it's like low to the ground. The truck is too high up, I guess. For this is, yeah. Um, this is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's extraordinarily interesting. <laughs> uh, no, but I don't drive any. I haven't. I want to take a refresher course maybe or two. Uh, I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm afraid. Now, I, the last time I drove was about four years ago, three years ago, when I rented a car. Was um, it hard to go back in? No, I, I, I got right into it. But I don't know if I can now. I'm worried about it. You know, I'm worried that my eyesight's not what it used to be, and that I get drowsy and all those other things, and I'm worried about driving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Shecky has said I can come out to his place and I can take his automobile out and drive it around the block a couple times. They say, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, sex. You never forget how to do it. You know? And his area is quiet out, so it's, it wouldn't be that busy like. Over by me, it's yeah, really yeah, yeah. It's always But I mean, it was just you know. I mean, I mean, I just. Uh, but the only thing that worries me about it, okay, is that uh, the cars now, and I'm a, I'm a technology guy, right? Right. Yeah, pretty. You're pretty uh, cutting it. You're on top of it, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I look at the uh, the panel on these cars, and it looks oh, like yeah. I'm driving a goddamn you know uh, spaceship. My you know, father's the, car's old, so it's kind of like doesn't have anything. But my brother's car has like he has a BMW. It's like it's got everything in. If you, in even fact, if you get the if you if you get a Tesla, they've got a screen the size of a large iPad. Oh, they look in nice. the Tesla. Big. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, and and you know everything's push button, and you go here and you go. I I it would take me a week to figure it all out. I just want a car I get in and drive, you know, and that isn't a spaceship. Am I right, Charlie? Are they that uh, getting that way? I've never been in a Tesla. Yeah, but but you have a I car. Have. You have a car, I'm right? Yeah. Comfortable. What kind of car do you have? I have a Chevy Malibu. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in yeah. Texas, there's Chevy Malibus all over the place. Yep. You want to laugh, Alex? I was walking to the bakery today to get some bread. Yeah. And I saw like an old beat up car. I can send you the picture. I thought of Phil because this guy had stickers all over the back. F de Blasio, impeach uh, Cuomo. <laughs> <laughs> there was another one, uh, something with uh, what's her name that he hates. What's the, what's the lady in the house that he hates? The one from oh. San Francisco? Oh, Pelosi. Pelosi. Oh, Don yeah. Pelosi had all bumper stickers all over the back. I said, I sent Phil the picture. I said, is this your car? Well, you know, I if you want to hate Biden, I, I perfectly understand that. But first, find something with justification to hate it's him about. Hate you, if you just hate him because he's not a Republican, that's not enough of a reason to hate him. You know, wait for him. What, 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 if I ask somebody, what's he done bad? They really can't figure anything out because he hasn't been president long enough, you know. True. So I mean, I just you know, I they that uh, that gets to me. But anyway, getting back to cars. <laughs> oh, today, today, this was this was the trifecta, okay, of technical problems. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm here with my computer and I get a call from Jack Bishop and I had called Jack because I wanted to talk to him because he's thinking about going to Zoom and I can't see any reason for him to go to Zoom. I mean, Skype is working perfectly well for him. Last you know? week you were trying to talk him into it. Well, I, yeah, but then I told him I, I had second thoughts about it because I figured, how's it going to improve his show? I need it because uh, I, uh, I'm do, I do this, okay, with the video and everything, so I need... Zoom's very easy to use for me, uh, but uh, for him, I said there's no reason for you. If you're using Skype and you have no problems with it and it doesn't go down on you, you know, 
Or if it goes down on you, it might be wonderful. But yeah. it, it goes down, it doesn't go down on you, yeah, you can go right ahead. So I'm talking to him, and as I'm talking to him about that, all of a sudden, my entire system here, so I start getting the beach ball of death, which if anybody oh has God. a map, yeah, you know what that is, okay? Mm-hmm. And so uh, I tell him, I can't talk to you right now. I'll call you back. And I get off, and I um, uh, reboot the machine, right? And uh, the moosh machine reboots up, and uh, I then go over to my OBS to see if it works okay, and I turn it on, and it immediately does that thing it did with all the uh, USB ports dying on me. <clears throat> so I, uh, I did away with it. I, I, I uh, turned it off. And what I did is I put in a new strip of, uh, for, for USB ports in my empty port so that I could just put my cameras, my two cameras there. And I booted the whole thing up, and then I had another problem, one thing and another, but I finally got the thing working, as you can tell, because we're doing the show tonight. And I think that may have solved the problem, oddly enough, of the USB. I, I'm not saying a word yet. This thing went for th- almost three weeks without going down, and then it went down the minute I rebooted the machine. So, but anyway, I got that going, and I'm trying to solve that problem. And now here comes Jack again, and he's calling me, and I say, "Just stay there. I'll get back to you." Because he was having trouble booting up his machine so that we could do what we had to do. So uh, I then am trying to solve this, and Marjorie goes, "My scanner isn't working." Oh. Really? Okay, wait a minute. I'll, and I think I've got this thing fixed. So now I run over and I'm fixing the scanner, okay, uh, which is still a problem. And I get another call from Jack. Are you ready yet? So now I go back to Jack <laughs> and I tell him what he's got to do. He Somehow what happens is whenever he's talking to his people, if any of you call Jack and he plays music and he plays uh, audio, you can't hear it. And he didn't know why, and I told him, go to Skype. Okay, go to the audio. Uh, what, what, what's your audio input? He says, so, I don't know, it's uh, this or that. And I said, not that. Do you have line in? He said, yeah. I said, click on that. It'll work from here on in. So now all you people who call Jack can hear the music at the beginning and end of the show. It, uh-huh. Yeah. I think I may have gotten it wrong, but I'm what I'm doing is I'm juggling all this technology. My machine is down. Her scanner isn't working. Jack's machine is taking forever to load up, you know. And I'm going, geez, you know, God, why do I, why, what the hell? It was one of those one of those technologically inefficient days. Well, you live on a high floor. There's a way to solve the scanner problem. Yes. Throw it out the window. Yeah, and right Tell now... I'm busy, and the scanner goes out and says, now it won't work at all. Right now, we could do that, because we've got the building has this whole thing around, the scaffolding around. Oh, there you go. Because they're doing the pointing, and they don't want the chips to fall on people below, so they right, charge right. the uh, the guy who run, owns the place uh, $50,000 a month for that scaffolding. Wow. Okay, uh, so if I want to throw it out the window, it won't hit anybody. So it'll just it'll yeah. just wind up on the scaffolding. So I think the funniest out the window thing I ever saw was a friend of mine's wife and him were in a hotel. I was in another room, but I went to their room, mm-hmm. and the wife was complaining about everything. She wasn't even Jewish, but she was complaining about everything, and the toilet plugged up. And he, he, the window, there was a big, like, sliding glass window and a little patio, mm-hmm. and it went into a courtyard. Mm-hmm. And he jerked the toilet off the floor and threw it out into the courtyard. Okay. Really? Well, the hotel told him, you know, we don't have anybody to fix the, the toilet for, you know, a couple of days. It's a weekend. Sorry. No other rooms. And he said, well, I'll, that's okay. You know, whatever. And so he, the toilet, with all the mess in it, went right out the window. Wow. But anyway, so that was my problem today. Yeah, you got it fixed though. Well, we I think maybe I do. So no, far, so far, it isn't. You know, the USB ports aren't freezing up, and it might have so been because I had the two Logitech cameras in in there, mm-hmm. and so I just switched them to this other strip, uh, which is a pretty powerful strip. It's got a lot is, of electricity. Is Skype on it. video also. What? Is Skype video? Yeah, also. it is. Yeah. 
But if you if he were to go video, I'd have him go to Zoom. But I don't see him going. I don't see a reason for him to go to Zoom. You do. You do Jack show, uh, Charlie. Uh, yeah. Do you go to you? Go, you figure using Zoom would improve anything? Well, um, it, it probably wouldn't change anything than what he's doing now, except that we could have somebody else on. Some of the people that can't seem to get on with Skype. Well, I mean, who can't? Is, Skype is just as easy, believe it or not. You know, it's just you have to well, have. There's several people that have trouble with it. Really? For some reason. I don't know why. I mean, all, all you got to do, I mean, it's actually easier, believe it or not, because all you guys have to have that address for this, which you can go to gabnet.net and the address is there. Okay? Um, uh, yeah. But, I mean, you have to have that. Uh, and I can't call anybody. I can't call any of you guys. You have to call me. If I were to, when I do an interview with Will Durst, he has to call me. Okay. Uh, whereas with Skype, uh, you can call them. You know? Well, over the weekend, this last weekend, I figured Jack will never get on Zoom, and I want to get on the show. So I spent an hour and a half with the the Skype program crashing every five minutes. And so I finally took it off and said, it just isn't working. Why is it, why you was know? it crashing? It shouldn't have crashed. I have no idea. I mean, I know it's a, it's not. It, I downloaded it from Skype.com. That didn't work. I download. I turned off all my things that, you know, all the browser extensions and stuff. That didn't work. Uh, you know. I, Skype's pretty easy to install. Well, it wouldn't install. I have a, I have a new Windows. I have a. A real powerful uh, a gaming computer that I don't use for you gaming. shouldn't have any trouble. I mean, I've got uh, an, a raggedy PC over here that doesn't I'm have a lot of power, and it it, uh, it 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 loads up Skype very nicely. All right, good. <clears throat> you know, I mean, all I'm saying is is that uh, you know, I I just don't know that Zoom is any better for what he's doing. Okay, so why change and why have to suddenly tell mm -hmm. his audience here's the address you got to call. And go over to the, you know, I'd put it up on GabNet. Uh, is it Skype limited by the number of people versus Zoom? You can have no, not really. According to Skype, you can have a uh, hundred people now. Oh, yeah, that's what, they've upgraded. Yeah, that's what they say. You know, I mean, I can have up to twenty people per panel here, and then if there's more people, it will just put them on another panel. But I'm, I'm, I'm in no fear of that. Okay, because every day the audience gets smaller, so I figure I I'm not going to do it. I saw you and me talking, and look at all the people that come on. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, but by, by the way, anybody have any idea how we can get more people to call and how we can get more people to watch? You know, I've given uh, I've given up on it. I think Facebook has done something that's fucked me over in trying really? to get. Yeah, well, they stopped with what they called uh, lis listener parties or whatever. And so uh, I, I don't have that method of letting people know there's a new episode and just sits there. And even my, my Monday shows, which usually get a lot of people because it's going out mm -hmm. on Facebook, the numbers are much lower. And I think there's something that Facebook is doing to fuck over people. Uh, I think if I paid for something, imagine that. If I, I think if over. I paid for something, I might start getting a better deal. Maybe you know, if Facebook allowed Trump to come back on, yeah. then this show would become popular. I don't know. Here's the soda I don't usually drink. Invite Trump on your show. There's <laughs> green stuff. It, there's, it's almost it, zero, zero calories, Alex. Huh? Yes, yeah, zero calories. Well, look at that. See, I mean, it's it's uh, it's just a floating cap. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. yeah, it's the green stuff. Yeah, but you you got to give yourself some credit, Alex. Mm -hmm. I mean. No one of your um, condition would even have a clue how to fix a computer. I mean, my father's 75, and he really knows how to turn one on. It would well, be, I mean, you're kind of a rare bird for that. I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. Right. And I always loved computers. You know, I love technology. And as we embraced new technologies, I were ha was happy it arrived. Um, but I have to tell you that certain concepts are starting to elude me, you know? Uh, and, uh, I mean, I can fix a small problem like that for Jack. I hope it fixes it. I hope it doesn't screw things up. Uh, but, uh, and I don't think it will. 
Uh, but nevertheless, it's you know it's uh, it's kind of kind of iffy, you know, uh, as to whether I'm 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 not getting a little worse every day. I mean, I find certain things that I do every day here, I'm not doing as as well as I used to, mm-hmm. kind of by rote, you know. Um, I found, I what know. did I find I out think... the other day? I've, I forgot to do something. Oh, uh, all of Jack's shows this month have been posted as being uh, April. You know, so, uh, you know, the things I forget to do. Are you outside, Ray, or is that a blue screen? I'm outside. Oh, okay. And what are you eating? Uh, French bread. Did you, bring, week. did you bring enough for the rest of the class? Yeah, really. <laughs> I did. Yeah. One of us could probably get over there while it's still hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you actually could. I think yeah. my wife made it. Oh, oh no, no. Really? She bought it at this French breaker, French bakery near our house. It's awesome. Uh, Sorry. Like, oh, yeah. 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 You know what I miss from San Francisco? Sourdough French bread. Oh, yeah. Just That's what I just had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I miss that. What, uh, what brand so did good. you like, Alex? Maybe I can get it overnight at you. Oh, I used to like Lara Baru, but I don't know if they make it anymore. I never heard of that. What name another this is one? homemade one. Well, I don't know. They, you know, they're, most of them are pretty good. You know what I like? As opposed to the loaf, I like the round one. That's the yeah, one my roommate always gets. Gets it at Costco or Safeway or somewhere. I mean, but how good can Costco sourdough French bread be? Well, <laughs> they get it from San Francisco, you so know. it must be okay. Hey, Dr. <laughs> Allen, there is a, a place near our Costco here that's like a mom and pop place in the middle of this industrial area, and they make it there. The really? round ones, sourdough. I just so I just ate. It's so good. Yeah, it's well, the give best. Me, give me the name. That put, send it okay. to me over Messenger or something after the show, and uh, okay. I'll see if they. I'll see if I can send one to Alex. Make them happy. Okay. Okay. Part of the reason why sourdough French bread isn't as good here is because it doesn't travel well. Nothing's as good. It, in it doesn't travel. It's like lobsters. You can't go, get good lobsters in California. No, but you can get them in New York. Yeah, but because yeah. they they you know they put them in a truck. Excuse me, uh, trucker Steve, but they put them in a truck and they ship them. And by the time they get here, they somehow they went. I don't want to taste as good anymore. You know? <laughs> and and they you know we have lobsters here, but they, we oh, don't. Yeah. But they're different ones, and we don't. For some reason, they don't sell them in the damn store. Really? But I've caught them when I used to spearfish, and they're, oh, di- oh. they're a different kind of lobster yeah, than the East yeah. Coast. You know what yeah. I liken it to? Uh, what I liken it to is they just announced that they're giving vaccinations in the subway. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but the one place I don't want to get a vaccination <laughs> is a subway. Okay? They're desperate. I mean, they used to, years ago, they used to have, you remember, Tony, they had candy machines you know in what the I used subways. To do, Alex? What? Yeah. You know what I used to do? The Scientology used to always be, when I used to get off the train and go to Midtown Comics, they used to always sit there, would you like your hand read? So, you know, they used to put the meter on me. I used to, like, sit down and, like, yeah, play. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, but I'm talking there. about the candy oh, the bars. candy machines? The candy oh, machines. Just, yeah. And I, I, I don't, I I don't, th- I don't think the, anybody ever bought one. No. I mean, you know, so I don't want to get a vaccination in the subway. I'm sorry. Didn't they, didn't they put the candy machine in the in the subway to hide the urine smell? <laughs> there's Imagine no it. what? There's no urine smell in the. There was. Can you imagine was what the bathrooms looked like in the subway stations? I never saw one. Did you ever go into one? No. I, I mean, you'd have to be desperate to you, go. You have to be in. peeing your pants before you'd use one of those. Yeah. Things. Yeah. But I don't think they have toilets anymore in the subways. No. I don't think. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, Scott, how's everything where you are? Actually, you haven't heard the big news from Ohio? No. Uh, We have a COVID sweepstakes. Oh, I heard it. I read about that. Are you ready for this? Have you read about this? So uh, any adult who gets vaccinated, they'll pull your name five consecutive Wednesdays. You get a million dollars. Yes. Oh, ah, that'll do it. Get a vaccination, the kids, win a million dollars. Yeah, they're going to pull oh names for the God. kids who are getting vaccinated, and they get a, a scholarship to one of the state schools. Wow. 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 Yeah, but wow. Okay, I work for the Gov State Health Department. They cut our programs drastically. 
They yeah. took money away, two and a half percent pay cut for the supervisors, and now they're giving away millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I, here's the only problem I got with that. With the whole free. thing, just, yeah. I mean, it's fun. The, the concept is fun. In fact, I like the fact that somebody downtown is saying, uh, "Get a vac, get get a, a jab, get a free joint." Oh yeah, yeah. And they they're giving away pot if you go and get a, <laughs> get a shot. My mother would be pot for a shot. Pot, uh, pot for a shot. Anyway, so but the thing that bothers me is, do you really need to give that incentive? I mean. How stupid are people that they don't want the shot? Oh, well, I'll do it for a million dollars. What? Really stupid. People are really you stupid. Know, and what are, you encourage, really what are you encouraging by giving away the million dollars for a shot? <laughs> Dick's thinking of chasing with a needle. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get to I'll just jam you hey, quick. Give me, just, don't give it to them if they don't want it. I, I mean, I you have to bribe them. them. Yeah, maybe in Ohio, the police will pull you over and say, you got a ticket, or I give you an injection. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many you know, people will take the injection then? Dewine is not on the good side of his constituent. Brian's Dewine. looking like he's saying it's not a good idea. How's yeah, that? He's, yeah, they're going to ask Come where the money's coming from. I just yeah. don't see him being able to do this. Yeah. What? This what? What? What, uh, like what? Brian? They're they're uh, lowering the age. I guess they're getting ready to do that. Right, twelve to seventeen. Well, it, it, wait a minute, is is that for um, um, uh, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein? They're lowering the no, age. No, <laughs> oh, no. no, is it for the, is it for Matt Gates? They're lowering the age. Gates, yeah. yeah. That's the better joke. I don't no, know why the, I can't. The FDA and that. the CDC approved the Pfizer vaccine for twelve to. 15-year-olds now. The, the new Epstein the, vaccine. The, the Epstein, the Epstein, 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 Epstein vaccine. My granddaughter is already set up. She's, tw- she's 13. She's 13. Is she she set gonna get, up? Is she, what do you mean she's set up? Or she or has she, an appointment? How'd she get set up? Oh, okay. Is it the same <laughs> shot they're giving uh, adults, or is it a little weaker? It's, I think that it's a little... Same. Lesser. Oh, it's like a half dose or something. I heard something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still two doses. Gee, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny. We had yeah. like thirty-nine. Yeah, we had thirty-nine people here a couple of minutes ago, and now we're down to thirty-four. That's because they're here. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're well, boring. We I was say. one of them. Oh, and then you hung up. I think. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah, because it was on my phone. Oh, I see. So, so what? Die. What happened was. I was being led to believe that those were people that were actually watching. It turns out that you're members of the citizen panel, so when you quit watching and came on here, I lost you. Hmm. Okay. We should get back on so it looks like more people are listening when we're on. Okay, all right. I'll let my phone battery run down. (laughs) Well, wait a minute. What are you using to do this, Ray? My Mac, my MacBook Air. Oh, okay. Where are you? My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? In the backyard. Oh, you're in the backyard. In, okay. the, in my backyard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My... Yeah, because the perfect picture it looks great, you know? Yeah, and it's pretty, it's way darker than that. Yeah. It's the, it's the camera that's upping the, the, the exposure. Yeah. Because it's, it's almost completely yeah, dark. the sun's yeah. gone, right? The sun's uh, gone. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's oh, good. yeah. That's yeah good. It's like the sun is out still for you. So what else is happening in uh, in Ohio? Anything of uh, of note? Uh, I'm trying to think the COVID, the everyone. Oh well, you know he's rescinding the um, mask order June second. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, he's he arguing that ninety eight percent of the hospitalizations are people who do not get the vaccine right now. So they're like, you get the vaccine, you're fine. So he's given was it? Well, a- here's what I here's what I would say. Okay, again, you know why make this easier on those people? Why yeah. don't we say if you don't get a shot, you got to wear the mask. If you get a shot, you don't have to wear the mask. Make your choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So four minutes ago, I got a pop up and it says Governor Newsom is not going to um, change the mandate. You still will have to wear a mask indoors after June the 15th. Okay. 
in California. Well, he had originally said for months he was going to relax all the rules. The interesting thing also that I found is last year we were $55 billion in the hole, and this year he's given $600 checks to everybody that pays their taxes because we have he's a surplus. Got a surplus. Well, I, I call that surplus by <laughs> votes because he's in a recall. Well, can you blame him? No, no, I don't you blame know? him. I mean, you know, every time, every time um, uh, Cuomo was accused of uh, by another woman, okay, um, <laughs> it, it, by another woman, uh, it was like, uh, okay, and, uh, well, I guess we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a. Um, uh, you know, a whole thing. Yeah, so it's uh, it's. I think you should have sent you all uh, all New Yorkers uh, every time you had another woman got involved some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you know, but anyway, I mean, it it's uh, it's. Um, Tony can go get his driver's license. Tony, Fine, yeah. Tony can go get his driver's license. I have my extra license. money. Oh really? Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um, so, um, let me see here. Where were we? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, it, it Cuomo, every time, uh, every time he'd be accused by some woman of patting her on the ass or something or looking at her tits, uh, we, we, they lowered the, uh, capacity of the, uh, raised the amount of capacity, you know? So, anyway. Oh, I just noticed if I move my, do that to my computer, it screws up my picture. Oh, okay. Sorry, folks, if I... If I caused the problem there. I won't. I won't. I joined back on my phone, so mm -hmm. you got another person. You, yeah. Let me see here. Well, we're yeah. down, you know, but we're down to thirty-three. Yeah. Oh, so someone left. And, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was telling my eighteen-year-old son today that Richard Dawson used to kiss yes. every woman on Family Feud. Yes. Yes, he did. And he was like, <laughs> "What?" He was disgusted. He was. He thought that was like the most disgusting thing he's ever heard. You know, he's eighteen. Well, and, to begin with, he Z. kissed him on the cheek. He didn't. He didn't like. No, he kissed most of them on the mouth. Really? No, he kissed them on the lips sometimes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did he stick tongue in there? Almost always. Almost always <laughs> did tongue. <laughs> no, I don't see it. Almost, no, no, the tongue, no, tongue only for the young, good-looking ones. But the, the, he even kissed the old ladies on the lips. Mm -hmm. You know, if he were still alive. They make a big deal out of that, that, that he'd done that 20, 30 oh, yeah. years ago on TV, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. And that's oh, yeah. ridiculous, you know. They, they, they shouldn't, you know. I'm tired of all of this. You Don't know? you usually ask the lady when you're dating her with tongue, without tongue, you know? <laughs> well. I'll you, wait for her to stick her tongue out first. No, I wouldn't There ask. you go. <laughs> oh, well, that's, you're a gentleman. Absolutely. Uh, uh, every morning, that's the first thing I say to my wife, tongue or no tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, Ray. Yeah. He's a gentleman. Yeah. Well, I kiss Marjorie yeah. goodnight every night, and I don't ask her tongue or no tongue because I couldn't get a tongue in there if I tried because she's got a bite plate she has before <laughs> she goes to sleep. she got a bite plate in there, you know, and I'm going... Wait, nothing is sacred in that household, is no. it? Well, no, I mean, it's... A, come on, it's nothing I'm more... The there, there's not. nothing less romantic than kissing a woman with a bite plate. Unless she's except about maybe, Except maybe a woman who doesn't have her teeth. <laughs> oh, um, I, I went out with a woman once, and we were getting ready to do the nasty... And she takes her goddamn teeth out. Yeah. Now that's awesome. Now, yeah, what really. do you mean that's awesome? Well, that's pretty, that's nice. well, think about, about it. it. That's what we called a gummer. Instead of a hummer, it yeah. was a gummer. Somebody even had to do this. Flathead and three feet tall. You don't have to worry about anything. Oh my! What did you say? Somebody <laughs> the perfect do. woman, no teeth, flathead, right. and three feet tall. That's right. <laughs> The three feet tall is so you can put your beer or you do realize you do do you realize that do you realize that that joke Ray will prevent you from ever working in theater again because somebody will find English. this show and say did you hear what Ray Renati said about women <laughs> that's already happened to me like so I give up like I'm already like blacklisted. No, I can't believe I said that. No, I'm not. 
Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, uh, what? No, I've had problems with things I've said. And they're like the most innocent shit. Like oh, buddy, really? Show, well, I mean, worry, like right? what? Can you tell us? Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, like. Okay, so on on Facebook, there are like uh, people will say something about Black Lives Matter, and all these and these white people will come and say, "Oh yeah, we're so bad. We're the most terrible. The theater is so prejudiced." I, I mean, um, and I'll go in and just be logical and say, "Well, where, how do you know this information?" Like they'll accuse somebody or something, and just because I question it. No. Everyone's on my fucking case like crazy. Oh yeah, like the McCarthy hearings type. <clears throat> As I, nice. I don't even talk anymore. You, oh. Well, I, I and, I'm not, and I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> you know, as someone who does a talk show or did a talk show for years, I think by now I'd probably be off the air just for something I had said. Sure, probably. You know, you would. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the things you said, you some of the things you said, you can't get away with that anymore. Yeah, uh, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I keep thinking There's about... There's no it. irony left. Well, I keep thinking, are there any women out there who could claim something about me? You know? That's and uh, I can't think of one, you know? Horrible sex, didn't like my teeth, um, my, my <laughs> back wasn't big enough, I don't know. My head wasn't flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but I, I put some. Mm-hmm. I sorry. What? No, go ahead. I put some pictures on Facebook because I've done a lot of photography of events and, and shows, and, and and there were some black people underneath. I put a bunch of pictures, but they weren't on the front, and mm. people were trashing me in the theater community because I didn't put black people in the front pictures, and I didn't have no Facebook ordered them, you know. Yeah. Like my answer my to that, my answer to that would simply be, "Hey, I'm white, and outside of Charlie Wallace and Jack Bishop, I don't know very many black guys <laughs> to put in a picture." I do know a lot of black guys, though. I do know a lot. I of mean, I you know, yeah. it, it, my um, uh, all my friends basically. Well, we no Marjorie has a friend Teresa who comes over all the time. She's black, but I had to think about that. You know, because I, I don't make that distinction. But when I think about, do I have any black friends? No, I really don't, outside of knowing Teresa. You know, but then again, I don't have any friends. Well, so, there you go, Charlie. Now I can the tell you honestly, I've out. been in three shows. <laughs> I've been in three shows that were almost all black people, and that was the most fun I have ever had in doing that in, in, in theater in my life. I mean... They, they like definitely black know people how to are party. so funny. They know how to have fun. Oh my God! It's like the, they're awesome. I really feel that way. It's, yeah. so, it's like a total blast. But, well, it's a, yeah, it's the fun, most fun thing I've ever done. Yeah, in my life. Well, I, I just, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I, I, I don't really have any bl- black people that I know at this point. I, I can't say that I knew that many before. I mean, I never made the distinction. Okay. Uh, Jack and Charlie aren't really black, is what you're saying. No. <laughs> He's just made believe. Charlie really is. No. But I never pay attention to that. That's you know, true. I don't I don't care. Right. You know, but the thing is, today you're supposed to care. I mean Right. Well all the yeah, stuff I just said, funny. I didn't even think about Charlie. Because I just think of Charlie's Charlie. I mean, honestly, I just think of him as Charlie. I didn't think, oh, I can't say this because you're black and well, I can't say these things. Play basketball. I mean, it's ridiculous. I play isn't it ridiculous, though, Charlie? Isn't it kind of ridiculous in a way sometimes? Sometimes. Would you say? I, play. I mean, I, I, under, I understand when people get, like, nasty. But, like, if you're just, like, trying to be normal, you're just trying to, you're just saying what you think and you have good intentions. I don't understand why people get so upset. Mm-hmm. I played pickup basketball like, in my 20s and 30s. Mm, and I had all black friends. And we had good team. That's why I want all black friends. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Yeah, they're the best sports people in this country, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, it, 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 it was, it's just that um, I, I think... It's water polo. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, you, go, you come into a community like this, and I'm sure that black people, the most friends they have are black, not white, you know. Uh, I, I, I think you have a tendency to hang around people you have a... Uh, similarity to connection to connection to you know that's a good question because you know why like in Queens I was going for a walk with my sister we were just walking around going to the park and if you really think about it 
the Chinese stay with the Chinese. The, the, the Indians stay with the Indians. I mean, why is everybody really afraid to say we all just it's kind of just happens. It's like a natural thing. When I you think. say Indians, do you mean dothead or woo woo? I don't know, because I get confused which is which sometimes. So I kind of got a group of them all together. <laughs> Albert used to say that I don't all anybody the time out. to me. And I went, that is so bad that I love it, you know. Yeah, because sometimes they get cool confused. Start. I, you know. The ones who own the candy stores, is that fair enough? Do you want to hear the most racist <laughs> Indian joke I ever heard? Like they own every one now. Oh, you, you want to hear the most racist Indian? Do you Reach want to around. hear the most racist Indian joke I've ever heard? Come on, sure. folks, you can now... You know, go online and out me and uh, me to me stuff. and do all of that. Racist was Press it. record. Do you know why Indians have a, a dot on their head? Yeah. Get sto- out of my store. Some store owners going, get out of my store right now. Yeah, okay, that's the joke. <laughs> and you know what? The, the, the funniest comedians, you know, the funniest comedians that I've heard yeah. are comedians that, 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 talk about themselves, the observations of themselves, and also the observations of other people, white people, you know, or, or, or different nationalities. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I look at, I've been, I've seen Chris Rock, I've seen just a number of, of good comedians, and a lot of them have that. And man, if you t- start, which they've already started doing, they start taking that stuff away, and you can't make fun of yourself or your well, or your, or people without people well, getting hurt. There's I'm, no comedy. I'm glad you, you I'm glad, wait a minute, I'm glad you brought up Chris Rock. Because what I've said for a long time was, is that I get a little tired of Chris Rock going, you know the funny thing about white people? And then he goes into this whole thing about white people. And I'm thinking, if I did that about blacks, I'd never work again. But he gets to talk about whites in that way. And and stereotyping whites. Is that right, Charlie? Well, like uh, white people thing. used to say funny thing about black people for decades. Yeah, well, no, that does, but that doesn't make it right, does it? It does, though. That's yeah, that's, that's does. the whole thinking. It does it make it good. right. No, you because, would think you would think because white people are in charge. You, you would have think thought that if there, there were there were jokes them. about black people and you f- didn't like them and you felt bad about them, that you don't just go doing white jokes because that seems like the idea. You would know better not to do them. Because you had been affected by the reverse. Am I wrong, Charlie? Tell me I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. You know, I mean, I just funny, huh? Like, like for for my like, I'm an I I, even though I'm Italian, like we used to go to my mom's friends, and they were real Italians, Alex, and I used to make fun of them, and I'll tell you why. We used to go to a kid's birthday party, and they say. All right, John, it's time to have cake. And all the fucking kids, like the first son named John, they get up and they run to the table. It's stupid. Look at the, I said, look at these dumb guineas. Well, wait, 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 first wait, son, wait, John, wait. and like six kids come up and run. It's just dumb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just stupid. I think Chris Rock words it because he can get away with it. It doesn't make it funny, I don't think. Because I can almost say like, well, that's like most black, you know, I hired a, you know, most black people come to work late. I mean, I was well, I mean, especially he, when you consider that Chris Rock grew up basically in a white neighborhood. Yeah, right, Alex. He's not from a he's you not know, from a rough area. Yeah. So, and all of a sudden, he he's trying to go ghetto. You know? Is it almost like he holds a card in his hand where he can play it? Like I can use, I can make fun of them, but they can't do it to me. What would they do to Lenny Bruce then today? They would probably kill him again. Oh, Lenny Bruce. They tried. Yeah, they, they killed him back him. then. They what are you saying? The first time. They killed him a second time. They, they, they killed him before. You know. Hey Look there. OJ Simpson. He only killed white people. <laughs> they, yeah. Huh. Yeah. OJ's got that disease to CT on the brain. I think. Hey. By the way, here, uh, everybody, cool. Here's the black guy. He just showed up. <laughs> that's Mr. Oh, black guy. Now. That's Jack that's Mr. Irvin Bo- Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. How you doing, Uh-oh. Herb? Hey, we're gonna get a, you know, we're gonna get read the riot. No, act. I'm not gonna read the riot act to anybody, but uh, Bennett. Yeah. You have known me yeah. since I was 13 I'm years old. Right. Yes. <laughs> since Jack- I <laughs> since I rode the Greyhound bus to Marin City and had some friends pick me up to take me to KTIM, and you you don't con- you said I know Charlie Wallace. He's a black guy. I know. <laughs> I mentioned you. <laughs> Did he? In passing, oh, okay. in passing, which is a joke in itself. But I knew you when you weren't black, so you oh, know. Oh <laughs> wow! Well, no, deeper. you know, it, growing up, it, I'll tell you something. I probably saw racism worse than he did because 
I was a Jew growing yeah. up in California in those yeah. days. Yeah. And and it, th that was far more worse than being black, believe it or not. It really yeah. was. You know, it really except, was. Except to begin with, everybody would invite you over to eat and see if they could kind of fool you into eating pork. You know. <laughs> you know, except you can hide being Jewish. Jewish. You can't hide being black. Well, no, you're absolutely right about that. But well, now, 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 I'm going to disagree about that. Okay. Because you have a, and, and Charlie Wallace will, will say amen to this, you have a surprising number of black Americans who do not appear black. Yep. Yeah. I think Charlie could hide it if he wanted to. <laughs> not to us. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just go, I just think you could. Well, all, ah. I'm, all I'm saying is, is that that when I grew up in California, I mean, being Jewish was was different, and and uh, there were, you know, you you would hear Jew jokes, you know, so when people. Thing that always bothered me most were people would come over to me and say, "So I I, I went in the store and I Jewed the guy down." No, oh, Jew. <laughs> And I went, what yeah. is Jewing somebody down? Oh, I guess we're it's cheap. Funny, I get it. We're cheap. Well, you might not remember this, Alex. Do you remember what I said? Well, you a good word. And, and we're all rich, by the way. My father never made more than $5,000 a year, and I wondered where all the rich Jews were exactly, you know? Well, I always felt bad for the Welch, the Welsh people because, you know, if you're a Welcher, <laughs> I mean. No, it's not a Welsher. It's a Welcher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, 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 Jack. Black guy. Yeah. Jack. Do you confused. remember when I was considering converting to Judaism? Oh, really? I think that I remember like that it. vaguely. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we, and we voted to not let you in. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You know. You for, give a plus, I didn't care for the ritual circumcision. Yeah. Well, we but, also uh, we yeah. also we're, no. we're also a little worried about the fact that you know we wouldn't want them to think less of us because you were a Jew. So you know. Well, no, no, no. The reason I didn't do it, yeah. if I had have been a black Jew, I would have had a real dilemma. Mm -hmm. Should I try to buy it wholesale or just steal it? <laughs> okay, he made that joke, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I didn't okay. say it, okay? I didn't say it. You can complain <laughs> next hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can call the, the, inter, uh, the uh, intersection and... Uh, intersanctum. Yeah, the intersanctum. <laughs> Yeah, which for, Alex is tongue-tied now. Which for the last week has been saying that your shows were on in April when they I, they should have said May, but I I'm I getting didn't old. Notice that? I I, I I know you're getting old too, so you don't notice it. So you know I can. Yeah. I, where do people listen to the uh, the intersection on uh, TuneIn? They can listen on GabNet, not Net. They the the player. Oh okay. You know. Oh okay. That's one and tune place. in. That's one oh. place and tune in. Cabinet on that, net. Tune, tune in. Tune oh, in. Okay. That's another way, way to do it. If you've got a, 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 a an Alexa, I call it Alexa because if I say the other word, it goes yeah. over. Uh, you can just say uh, Alexa, um, uh, play Great American uh, Tune In Great American Broadcast, and oh, okay. it will automatically start playing on your Amazon device. Or Ray, wow. you can come down here, and you can hear it on my computer here at the house, and we'll put you up for the weekend. Yeah. All right. I you came on the show, Jack, to give us your Zoom address. <laughs> There's a wise ass in every crowd. I'll tell there. you. I'll Jack. tell you. I, you know, I mean, the Zoom, the Zoom, the bad thing about the Zoom is that long address. It's not like you can take a name like Gabnet Live and tell people type in Gabnet Live. Uh, and uh, so, you know. Also, you, you can't call people with, with Zoom. That's and the for the thing. benefit of those that did not hear you say this, mm -hmm. you and I had a um, extensive conversation today about whether to go to Zoom or not. Mm -hmm. And you, you convinced me that it's maybe not the thing I should do for this. Yeah, time. well, I advised, uh, initially I said, ah, hey, go to Zoom. And then I thought about it and I said, you know, he's doing fine with Skype. Skype is just as easy. For most people, Alan has yet to be able to get it installed and working on his computer. But, then, you know, that's Alan, so don't I want judge you to know I tried over the weekend, Jack. But. Well, we appreciate Skype? that. Oh. Yeah, we, but the only we've had two people, other than Richard Johansson calling from Norway or wherever the hell in Scandinavia he's living. But uh, Jeff Stein has had a problem getting in. Always having a problem. Yeah. And, and Alan, and that's it. 
I don't have any you problem ever. important people oh, on this show. You just type in GabNet Live. Well, uh, 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 in all deference to Jeff, who I love, and, you know, he's a good friend. And You're I not going to say he's black. Well, no, but he's not very good at new technology. <laughs> so it took well, us forever. Like old technology. Yeah, it took us a while to get him to, you know, like turn his audio on and do things like that. So, oops, wait a minute. I, I pu pushed the wrong button here. Hold on. I, I accidentally touched a button. Yes, yes, Ray. Yes, Ray. Wave everybody. Oh, I was just waving. I thought we were done. No, we're not. We're not. No, that's that was a different thing. Whenever I hear the music, I, it's like Pavlov's dogs. I just start waving. No, I accidentally hit the keyboard and it started the thing. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, Alan. How about, how about moving Jack over to... To Gabnet, at the end of this show, Jack comes on and moderates it, and we can all be on the show here. Huh? On That's Zoom. a million-dollar idea. On Zoom. Yeah. Well, I'd have to give him the uh, the sign-in and everything for Zoom. I, he, he doesn't trust me. He, he doesn't trust me that much. Just make him a moderator. <laughs> I think he would yeah. use his own sign-in. I mean, one night, if you want to try Zoom, I can give you the uh, sign-in for Zoom, and you can We're all go here. in on this account. Charlie didn't fall asleep tonight. We're okay. Yeah, but he doesn't have Charlie, the... wake up for crying out loud. No, I'm it's, not done yet. It's, yeah. it's not Charlie that falls asleep on my show, although that is rather intimidating when it happens. He he fell asleep on our show last yesterday, last was night, it? Yeah. Last no, week. Mike Allen is the one that falls asleep at least mm -hmm. three nights a week. I was a little concerned. <laughs> Charlie <laughs> nodded <laughs> off, and I thought, oh, my God, I hope it's okay. <laughs> And then uh, don't make fun Alex of that, asked Ray. Him a question and he woke up. So yeah. don't make fun of that, Ray. You know. Did Mike Allen used to call this show before? This show? Yeah. He yeah, I banned him from it. That's why he's yeah, on Jack's oh, show. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. I remember hearing him all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I took him in like a lost Mike. puppy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's been he, for the most part. He's called you almost every night. Oh yeah. 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 Mike. Mike's great. Yeah. Mike's great, man. It's hilarious. Sometimes it's I don't understand where, what Mike is talking about, but then again, nobody else understands no. it either. <laughs> right. That's the best part. Right. right. But, That's why I like having Ray Renati and, and Jeff, because when they're on my panels, mm -hmm. the intelligence level goes up at least 75% <laughs> over what I say. It, it's funny, because on my show, when they call, the intelligence level goes down. Why is that? Yeah, I knew, he was, uh, I I knew you were going to say yes. that. I knew it. I was waiting. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> It's an, it, it, it's, it's a Euclidean uh, 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 ratio there, a Euclidean wow. theorem. Yeah. Theorem? Yeah. Theorem? I gotta go. I gotta get ready for the intersection. Everything talk is to relative. you guys on the other he, side of the hour. Yeah, he's gotta go right. do do his little Bye, uh, his little show. Okay. See you. See you later, Jack. Yeah. Bye, Jack. I, I, I listened one night and it sounded like he was introducing the Golden State Warriors. Everybody. Who? Like Jack. Was, oh yeah! It's yeah, like yeah, all yeah, the, the introductions, the people, and yeah, yeah, yeah. great! It's awesome. See, you see the problem. Like see the problem person. he had. This is why I don't want him going to Zoom. He couldn't figure out how to get out of Zoom. So you know, I mean. <laughs> anyway, there's the theme. By the way, hey, it's been been a nice show tonight. You know, uh, oh, we we got up to a bunch of people. Okay, that's good. I see 45 I, on my side. What? 45 people. Really? I I only see 40 right now. Oh, yeah, it's dropping. Are here. It's dropping. It was up to 45, huh? Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, we'll uh, be back again uh, tomorrow night, and we'll see all you guys again. Je uh, Alan, thank you so much. Jeff, always a pleasure. Charlie, thank you very much. What is that? Uh, it's the square root of minus four is two. Oh, yeah. And, and what does it say below it? It says it's all fun and games until somebody you loses lose an eye. An eye. It, it, okay, I think you've worn that one before, but it's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Tony, great having you here. Uh, it's also good to have John Larkin here. He hasn't said anything tonight, oh, by the way. Yeah. I, I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, so either. Yeah. Yeah. Cause... Scott, thank you. We love it when you call. Of course, uh, you know the uh, uh, the what do you call it? The Unabomber. Uh, was with us tonight, uh, Ray Renati, That's the right. Unabomber. Uh, That's right. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, hey, uh, our good friend uh, 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 Brian Neary. 
And we also just lost trucker Steve. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He's going to be using Skype, and he you can Skype him by typing in the name Gabnet Live, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E, and you can call him. Please do call him. He, 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 he runs a great show over there. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And by the way, as always, and as I admonish you on numerous occasions, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, get a vaccination, wear a mask, and be safe out there. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.